Welcome to our tutorial series on OpenUSD. Today, we're focusing on a fundamental concept in universal scene description known as USD properties. For this lesson, we'll concentrate on attributes. USD properties are used to describe the characteristics of objects, or prims, within a USD scene. There are two types of properties, attributes and relationships. Attributes store data values that define the appearance, behavior, or other properties of a prim. Relationships, on the other hand, establish connections between prims, enabling hierarchical structures and data sharing. Attributes are the most common type of property that you'll work with when creating scenes. An attribute can have one specific data type, such as a number, text, or a vector. Each attribute can have a default value, and it can also have different values at different points in time, called time samples. Attributes are name value pairs, often referred to as key value pairs, that store data associated with a prim. Each attribute is defined with the type of data that it can hold. Attributes can represent various types of properties, such as the vertices of a piece of geometry, the diffuse color of a material, or the mass of an object. Some common examples of attributes include visibility. This attribute controls the visibility of a prim in the scene. Display color. This specifies the display color applied to a geometric prim. Extent. This attribute defines the boundaries of a geometric prim. Attributes can be authored and stored within USD layers, which are files that describe different aspects of a scene. When a USD stage is composed, the attribute values from various layers are combined according to specific composition rules, allowing for flexible scene assembly. Attributes can be animated by providing multiple keyframed values over time. USD's time sampling model ensures efficient storage and interpretation of animated data. To work with attributes in USD, we'll generally use schema-specific APIs. Each schema-specific API has a function to grab its own attributes. For example, we can use this function to get the radius value of sphere underscore prim that is of type usdgeom.sphere. And another example of setting the double-sided property of the prim would look like this. While there's also a dedicated USD attribute API in general, it's preferred to use the schema-specific methods if they exist, as they are more clear and less brittle. In this lesson, we learned attributes are values with a name and data type that define the properties of prims in a USD scene. Attributes are the primary means of storing data in USD. Each attribute has a single defined data type. Attributes are authored and stored within USD layers, enabling efficient scene composition. Attributes can be animated by providing keyframed values over time. They can be queried, modified, and animated using the USD API. Understanding attributes is essential for creating rich and detailed 3D scenes enabling efficient collaboration and interoperability across various tools and pipelines. Thank you for watching, and for more information, please visit the official USD documentation and continue exploring other concepts in OpenUSD to enhance your skills and projects.